We are entering an era where your eyes and ears can no longer be trusted, an era where artificial intelligence can forge faces, mimic voices and create lies so convincing, truth itself is under attack. This is not science fiction, this is happening right now. In this video, we'll uncover what deepfakes are, how they're made, the irreversible damage they're already causing and what the future holds when reality is no longer reliable. Deepfakes are artificially generated videos, images or audio that make it appear as if someone is saying or doing something they never did. This is achieved through a type of artificial intelligence called deep learning, often powered by IGNs, Generative Adversarial Networks. These neural networks are trained on hours of footage, thousands of images and audio samples. The result? A synthetic copy so realistic that even professionals can be fooled. Just a few years ago, it would take a Hollywood studio and millions in budget to pull this off. Today, a teenager with a laptop can create a believable deep fake in a bedroom. This technology isn't just clever, it's dangerous. And here's why. Imagine seeing a video of your prime minister declaring war or a presidential candidate using racial slurs. Even if it's fake, the emotional damage spreads faster than any correction ever could. In 2020, a deepfake of Belgian Prime Minister Sophie Wilms appeared online, falsely linking COVID-19 to environmental damage. It went viral. The truth came later, but the damage was done. Authoritarian regimes could use deepfakes to justify oppression. Terrorist groups could incite violence using fake speeches. The potential for information warfare is limitless and terrifying. 90-95% of deepfake content online is pornographic and most of it features women who never consented. Victims, some just teenagers, have found their faces pasted onto graphic videos shared across the web. Careers have been destroyed, lives have been ruined, mental health shattered, violation without contact, consent bypassed by code. In 2019, fraudsters used AI to mimic the voice of a CEO and tricked an employee into wiring 220,000 euros. The voice was flawless. The scam worked. Now imagine deepfakes used for stock manipulation, insider trading or fabricated boardroom meetings. The financial world could collapse under the weight of digital lies. Deepfakes don't just create falsehoods, they destroy truth. In a world where anything could be fake, nothing is trusted. This is called the liar's dividend. Guilty people can dismiss real footage by claiming it's AI generated. And the public? They're left confused, cynical and unable to tell fact from fiction. So where's the line? Who's accountable when an innocent person is deep faked into a crime? When a politician loses an election due to a fake scandal? When someone's voice is cloned and used to commit fraud? The law is decades behind the tech. In many countries, there's no legislation targeting the creation or distribution of deep fakes unless it intersects with existing laws on fraud or harassment, lawless code, borderless damage. Ethically, we're in murky waters. Is using someone's face without consent ever justified? What about for satire or education? These questions must be answered urgently. Fighting deep fakes requires technology as smart as the fakes themselves. AI detection systems now analyze blinking patterns, shadows, voice tone, and even skin texture to spot fakes. But it's a constant arms race. For every new detection method, a counter-tech emerges. Some creators now use invisible watermarks to prove authenticity. Others are pushing for blockchain-style metadata to track a file's origin. These are promising, but still niche. In the end, we must educate people. Teach them to question, verify, and think critically. If we don't build digital literacy fast, we'll drown in digital lies. If current trends continue, we're headed toward a future where everything can be manipulated and nothing can be proven. Virtual influencers are already here. AI-generated spokespeople are delivering public messages. Actors may soon be replaced by digital clones. But what happens when a deepfake starts a war or frames someone for murder? What happens when reality is a choice? When truth is programmable, democracy dies silently. We must choose the truth. Technology is not evil, but it reflects the values of its creators and users. Deep fakes are a warning, a test, a mirror. Will we use AI to deceive and destroy or to educate, protect and elevate truth? This is not just about technology, it's about who we become because of it.